Hi, I'm Meredith from Peachy Speechy. I'm a speech language pathologist and the R sound is my specialty. I've written several workbooks on the R sound and today I'm going to show you how to say R correctly. First, let's talk about speech anatomy, specifically the parts of the tongue. Here's my tongue model. You have your tongue tip. Right behind the tip, you have the blade. Right behind that, you have the tongue body or dorsum. And then way in the back, you've got the tongue root. It's also important to know the back sides of the tongue. Right here, these are gonna be important. Now when you open the mouth, right behind the front teeth is the alveolar ridge, those bumps you can feel with your tongue. Also just inside the back teeth where I've marked with Play-Doh here are what I call the tongue bracing spots. Those are gonna be important for the R sound. So I wanted to go over all of these structures with you since I'll be mentioning them in the video. There are two main tongue shapes that can result in an accurate R, bunched and retroflexed. Some people just bunch, some people just retroflex, and some people do a combination of both. This video, we're just going to be talking about the bunched R. It's called bunched R because your tongue pulls back and bunches up in the mouth when you make the sound. So here's what you need to do. This is a bunched tongue. The back sides of your tongue need to lift up to touch those tongue bracing spots inside your back teeth. With the back sides up, the back of the body of the tongue will lower a little bit, creating kind of like a taco shell or a jelly bean shape. With the back sides up and anchored and the body lowered a little bit, the front of the tongue is going to lift up and the whole tongue is going to pull back into this bunched position. Err. Seeing these models side by side shows you the difference between a relaxed tongue and a bunched tongue for the R sound. You can see that it's retracted back, the back sides are lifted, and there's a depression here in the body. When it pulls back, the tongue root is actually retracting into the throat, creating a constriction back there. Let's put it in the mouth and review the steps. The back sides are gonna lift up to touch those tongue bracing spots inside the back teeth. The front of the tongue will elevate a little bit. The body of the tongue is going to be lowered. There will be tension. The whole tongue retracts back into the mouth and you produce a clear Err. I know that's a lot of information all at once. I'm gonna demonstrate it a few times and get the camera nice and close in on my mouth so you can see. Err. 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 Now I'm going to put some visuals and tips on the screen in case you wanna pause the video and practice saying the R sound yourself. If you don't get it on the first try, don't be discouraged. R is a tricky sound and can take some practice. After you're done practicing, I've got some additional tips for you. If you're trying to produce R and you end up saying uh, instead kind of a vowel sound, that means that your tongue is probably sitting too low in your mouth or doesn't have enough tension. So if you're saying uh, try lifting the tongue and tightening a bit so it sounds like uh, uh. Another trick is to start by saying the E sound. This helps because when you say E, the back sides of your tongue are already lifted and your tongue is already pretty tense. So start by saying E and then pull your tongue back a little bit and round your lips just a little bit until you get ear, ear. Something else you can try is to take your tongue tip, lift it and curl it back during production of R. Err, err. That gives you the retroflex tongue position. And some people find that a lot easier. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found it helpful. Please follow me on Instagram and on YouTube. I post tips about the R sound all the time. I also have a blog at peachyspeechy.com and have a lot of posts about R.